Okay, so the first thing I did to lay out these step lap rafter seats, this is where the rafter is going to lap over the plate and overhang a little distance. And this looks like a stair step. And the lap and the stair step are the same distance, which is inch and a half. So it's an inch and a half from here to here and an inch and a half from here to here. Now, I put on my tape measure on my zero point at the end of the frame. And the each rafter seat is three inches wide. So using the, the plan, there's the starting point. Each one is laid out two feet on center all the way down the timber. Now, once they're laid out all the way down the timber, you can remove the tape. And you set your mini combination to, I gotta find my pencil, four and an eighth. And you draw this line four and an eighth, four and an eighth to four and a quarter. It's two and an eighth, two and an eighth, it's four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. You draw a four and a quarter inch line on each side for the side of the rafter. Then you draw the back line. That's the back of the V. Now, you set this one at two and an eighth. And two and an eighth, you draw this line, which is the top of the lap. And oh, two yes. and an eighth down this side. Two and an eighth down this side on each side of the rafter and then across here. And that creates the lap. Okay. Then I set the mini to two and an eighth plus inch and a sixteenth, which is half of two and an eighth to get the bottom of the V line. And I drew that line. Right here, the bottom of the V. The next thing you do to cut this joint is you take a saw and you saw this line here. either a skill saw or a hand saw. I use both. And then you cut this line here. And then you chisel away this wood in the middle. And then you gotta chisel in on an angle this way and this way to create the V. And when you have the V created correctly, you set your mini to inch and a half and it comes in here like this and this part checks this shoulder or the step this part checks this one and it goes like that and to be ensure that you're at 45 you turn it around and you use it like this and you can do that on this side and you can do it on this side to get your 45 when you're checking your 45 the ruler should touch the top line in the center and the front line on the edge. And then you know you're at 45. The end.